We are at war, and in fact here, this country has suffered a devastating attack. And these men and women, and their response to it, is what brought our country back. It's what gave a reeling nation a solid foundation to stand back upon, to remind us of why this country is great, of why this country is worth fighting for. For those who saw us on TV advocating to get a bill passed in 2010, 2015 and 2019, we weren't just doing it for 9-11 responders. We were doing it for everybody affected by 9-11. Over the last decade, we have all fought very hard so that everyone has access to the health care that they need. Tom is more prophetic than he even knew when he talked about the unknown magnitude. Right. Because we're still having the, what I call the forgotten victims, the students, the teachers, the 300,000 office workers, the 25,000 residents. They're still getting cancer every single day. They've linked 68 cancers now to the World Trade Center toxins. First thing that I hear from the non-first responder community in Lower Manhattan is, you know, oh, I, you know, look, I. I'm sick, but I don't deserve anything. I'm not a first responder. I just, I just lived here. I just studied here. I just went to school here. I just raised a family here. And you allowed this area to grow. So please, access what you are owed. It breaks my heart that the 9-11 survivor community and many who don't even know that they're members of that community think that this is a law that protects first responders only. It's not true. For the people who came to New York, all the FEMA people, all the students who now live all over the country, the sad reality is they don't realize that their cancers that they got in 2008, let alone last year, have been linked to those World Trade Center toxins. That's why I'm so glad that you're helping us spread the word about this. Oh,